Hey guys, what's up? Ants Canada here. Uh, welcome to the Ants Canada Ant channel, the most popular Ant channel on YouTube, thanks to you guys. Um, and of course, we've got all things Ants on this channel. Um, and before I go into this video, I just want to give an update on the store. It's opening in probably two weeks. We're just figuring out shipping details now. Um, and uh, so I'm really excited about that. Uh, launching the new website as well. Yay. Um, okay, so this video is an update on the um, beginning colony of Campanotis that I found here in Philippines. Actually, it was given to me by a friend. Um, and the last time you saw her, she had brood, and they all pupated, and then out. I just checked them the other day, and uh, saw this. We have our first nanitic there, you see? So cute, and she's still, um, she's still tanning, like she's really light right now. Her exoskeleton is kind of hardening still, I, I guess. See her there? And there's an empty cocoon shell as well. Um, and as well, we have some brood there, some larvae and eggs. So this is her first generation of workers. They're smaller than usual. She raised them ex completely off um, stuff she regurgitated from, her, you know, using the energy from her back muscles. Um, and if you guys haven't seen the tutorial whoops, on what to do when your first workers arrive, be sure to check it out by clicking here click on that annotation um, or you could just watch this video <laughs> because I'm going to give them their first taste of food um, she's been this queen here has been fasting since she first settled into this chamber this founding chamber so I'm sure she's gonna enjoy the food so here we go let me put them down for a sec um, and what I'm gonna feed them is honey. You should usually use a toothpick, but I don't have a toothpick right now. Um, and they, you only need a dab. If you give them too much, they might drown. And like the babies might stick to the drop and you don't want that, of course, right? Nobody wants that. Because you love your ants. Why? Because ants are the best. Alright, so, um, I dabbed a little bit of honey there and I'm going to open the end here whoops gotta be careful don't want to alarm the colony because you know don't want to scare them please tell me this will fit and it doesn't fit okay you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna dip the other end there we go wow that's what you call adlining. So all you need is a little drop. You don't even need to put it that near the brood. A tiny drop, just like that. See? Now, hopefully, the worker there is going to see it or smell it. The worker is going to fill her social stomach with the honey, and then she's going to pass it to the queen via a process called trophallaxis aka mouth to mouth why do ants need to do that well because they live in an underground environment and bacteria outbreaks can be fatal so the less food that's sitting around in the colony in the nest the better and what better place to store food than in your own body right okay so Yoo-hoo, it doesn't seem like they noticed the honeys there. There seems like they're more interested in arranging the babies. Probably because of the light. Okay. Come on, worker. Don't you smell a little something? There's some goodies waiting for you. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. And see? The workers drinking just as planned. So 
Now this worker is going to continue drinking. This is the worker's first meal ever. Like, meal as in not coming from the queen. And I'm sure the queen herself will be really happy to have some sustenance after a long period of fasting. Isn't that great? When the colony has its first taste of food, it's always such an exciting thing. I remember the first time when um, I ever had a nanny to take have its first meal. I was so excited. <laughs> such a miracle. Alright guys, so I'm just going to put these guys back in the dark. Um, and... Let them enjoy their first meal. Thank you guys for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe here. And um, again, visit AntsCanada.com for all things Ants and uh, to check out the new store that's coming out. Thanks, guys. Love you. Bye.